Hey Gators, today we're going to cover safer use strategies for magic mushrooms. Psilocybin, otherwise known as magic mushrooms, are fresh or dried mushrooms with long slender stems topped with caps of dark gills. They're usually eaten, brewed as tea, or added to other foods. Shrooms have been used throughout history for thousands of years for medicinal and ceremonial use among indigenous peoples in many parts of the world. They became popular in the U.S. in the 1950s after an American was introduced to them in Oaxaca, Mexico by a Mazatec medicine woman named Maria Sabina. Shrooms went on to become illegal in 1971 under Nixon's Controlled Substance Act. Although shrooms have some of the lowest hospitalization rates when compared to other drugs like alcohol and amphetamine, it has been classified as a Schedule I drug. This means that it's not accepted for medical use and is categorized by the government as a high potential for abuse. However, there is a lot of advocacy and movement around decriminalizing the drug so that it can be further researched for medicinal properties. The effects of psilocybin kick in 15 to 30 minutes after ingesting and typically last between 4 and 7 hours, though some people may feel effects for a lot longer. The effects include intensified feelings, changes in perception of time, spiritual experiences, and feelings of relaxation or detachment from self or the environment. It's important to note that the amount and type of mushroom ingested play a role in the effects and intensity that one's going to feel. Microdosing or using less of what is typically recommended for a shroom trip is a safer way of engaging with shrooms to avoid undesirable effects. Safer use strategies to consider before you start using are to take one or two dried mushrooms if it's your first time on a shroom trip. Additionally, it's important to trust the source and know your dealer. It's important to have sober buddy around who won't be tripping and knows what to do in the event of an emergency. Plan your shroom trip and choose a safe place to hang out, keeping in mind that the trip may last a while. And avoid using with strangers. Use around people you trust and feel safe around. When you're using, avoid engaging in activities that could lead to unpleasant or unexpected outcomes. Stick to one substance at a time. And finally, if you're planning on leaving the location, be sure to request a ride share and don't drive. Consider not using shroom, shrooms if you or a family member have a history of mental health problems. Hallucinogens can trigger symptoms or interact with mental health medications. Avoid using if you can't keep yourself or others safe while you're using hallucinogens. Finally, avoid using if you're concerned that your use is going to impact relationships with friends and family. If you or someone else is having a bad trip, go to a safe environment if you're not already in one and play calming music. Remember that it's only temporary and it'll soon pass. Try to meditate or relax. The only way to guarantee that you won't have a bad trip is not to use hallucinogens. Be sure to seek support if you believe you have become dependent on any substance. You can find more information on treatment options at samsa.gov or seek an appointment with an SF state counselor at payservessfsu.edu. Make sure to visit our office if you're in the area. You can find our offices located in Village at Centennial Square, and you can pick up safer sex supplies, menstrual supplies, our kits, and much more. Check out the description below for more resources, and be sure to check out our other harm reduction series videos and website at wellness.sfse.edu. Finally, help us improve substance use health education programs and services at SF State by filling out the form below. Thank you, and I hope that you all have a good day.